Welcome to One Killer Question. Where we answer your question. One. That's it. Hey, welcome to One Killer Question. I'm Ali Stroker. Imagine you're in trouble and the only person there to help you happened to kind of kill your best friend. And turns out to maybe be not such a bad guy. Theo. Huh. What do you think, Ryan Broussard yep. and James Caverly? James, what's your deal? Oh man, <laughs> Theo. He got arrested in scene one, and I'm like, oh man, I'm finished. I'm never gonna, we're never gonna see Theo again. <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. But now, you see me in back, and I'm like, they didn't write off the deaf guy yet, so I feel like I can play more of the story. Theo's expanding, and I feel good about that. Do you think ultimately Theo's intentions are good? Yeah, I think Theo's trying to do good. He never really had a chance growing up, like with his father. I couldn't imagine Theo, what his life was like before the murder of Zoe. Like before that, I'm sure he was just happy and like, ooh, let's do whatever I, I want. And now all of a sudden, oh, everything's secret, everything's dark. But yeah, I think the relationship with the father, you can't help but blame the dad for what happened. He never really had a chance to grow up, right? I mean, we see it. In Coney Island, they're all playing around and enjoying everything and being a kid again. You never really see that in his character in the past. Yeah, I've, I mean, I, f I feel like from the beginning, like, I've always just been drawn to your kid. I, I was more surprised than anything that, like, we, we had the revelation that Theo had something to do with Zoe's murder because I was so drawn to that character. I was like, that's a good guy, and I want to root for him. And then we had that big reveal. And it was like, oh no, I wanted to like you so much. But I still, I still do. His intentions are good. He wants to make life easier for his father, for himself. Does Theo think by helping Mabel will allow him, I guess, to forgive himself about what happened with Zoe? I hope so. I talked a lot with the writers, you know, and we said that Theo's big goal for his life is to always be centered around Zoe. I think it, it reminds you, I mean, being with Mabel maybe reminds you of, of Zoe. There was so much guilt there that Theo had. Now, carrying that for 10 years, I still have to live with the guilt, needing forgiveness, that need for forgiveness. I never really had that. My father never allowed me to recover from that. So for Theo, Honestly, in that episode, he's looking for a certain type of forgiveness. Mm. Yeah, we have seen how both Zoe and Tim's death have affected Mabel, but how have they affected Theo? You know, the previous season, season one, that whole time Theo was isolated. You know, I really had to practice for myself and isolate myself as much as I could from everyone else. Mm. I'm kind of in the dressing room, kind of like dark, <laughs> trying to get that feeling, trying to be isolated as much as I could. Yeah, I think him and Mabel are finding each other at the, at the perfect time. I think Mabel sees something in him that not a lot of people see just because of what he went through in the first season and the tragedy that happened with Zoe. And I think Mabel's seeing the same exact situation happen to her as what happened to Theo because she's the main suspect right now in this, this murder that happened with Bunny. And to know that like it didn't go down like that, it, 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 you don't know the whole story, you don't know everything that happened. She's starting to show compassion for Theo and understand that like, yeah, maybe the thing that I'm going through right now is exactly what he was going through in season one. And like they, that might form actually a really, really strong bond. It's gonna be interesting. Do you think Theo belongs in jail? Absolutely. That's interesting. I think in some ways being arrested helped Theo rediscover himself. I feel like if you do, you know, serve a prison sentence or, or time for the crime that he committed, it allows you to, yeah, forgive yourself, have 
time to reflect and and kind of get past that. But when you never have that opportunity to do that, and he has to just constantly live with that with that pain and that mistake, I think it's like yeah, that's a that's a lifetime sentence having to deal with the things that he's dealing with. Okay, this is a crazy idea, mm-hmm. but could Theo and Mabel ever be a thing? Dating a murderer? Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mabel seems to be very drawn to murder, so like we're not throwing anything out. The ultimate bad boy. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, what kind of girl in her right mind would want to flirt with someone who killed her best friend yeah. <laughs> and blamed her other best friend yeah. who was in jail for like 10 years? Like, what kind of things do these people have to be going through to be one of the, to want to be tied to each other, and that thing that ties them together is murder. Like, it almost, it's their... <laughs> They're making a podcast yeah. about murder. They're hanging out with murderers. Yep. Characters now are Now best obsessed. friends with murderers. Yes. Yeah. And what about Will's relationship with Theo? Yeah, we need DNA results to come out ASAP. I'm, I'm right with the audience. I'm, I'm figuring this out. That was one of the interesting things. Like, we didn't really cross paths in, in, in season one. Now we're, we may be bind it together for for the rest of this journey that's going to happen with only murders in the building. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. If you two turn out to be brothers. Oh no. What would be your first bonding trip? <laughs> Where would you go? What would you do? Oh man. I f- I, f- I feel like Oliver would would try to convince Theo and Will to go to a a, a Broadway show. <laughs> Take in some yeah. theater. <laughs> Either that or go to, <laughs> go to the graves and I'll live in that world bodies. for you. I'll live in that world. Thank you both so much. And thank you for watching One Killer Question. Yeah.